Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play. As always, I am Oz. And today we're going to be doing a bit more work on our new house. And maybe we'll do something with this little triple block of dirt here. That's going to be a pathway to a new area. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to build it, but I know what, I'm, what I want to build there. I'm going to build a melon slash pumpkin farm because I really need a new one. <laughs> I'm dangerously low on melon. But today... We're going to be working on the mob spawner. Get out of the way, zombies. Did you just drop a shovel? No. Fucker. Okay. So, you can see I've built it up a fair way. It's now nice and high up. We are at... I think this is the sixth level. So, I'm just going to... Actually, I'm going to need... Cobblestone there. I'm going to open this up. We're going to put in another layer. My fridge is rattling. I don't know why. Hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> Alrighty. Very simple design. Uh, based off Ethos Lab. So what we want to do is we just want to go up here and plant all these along. So while I'm doing this, uh, I actually, while I was building, I th when I was on layer 5, I think, I had this brilliant idea for uh, an, an all-purpose mob spawner. Now, when I say all-purpose, it's not as in, you know, this thing can have slimes and spiders and whatnot. No, I'm talking about something that has, that gets basically all, nearly all your drops. So, of course, uh, spiders and slimes, I'm not going to be incorporating into the design because I'm sure I could with the slimes. Because, oh, shit. Because this thing goes down through a slime chunk and it's at level 36 at its lowest point. But, I've always wanted to do a nice big spawner. I can just take care of everything in one spot, just stand in one spot with a couple of collection zones for the different drops. So, I'm going to have to make a long trek later in the game, once I've finished this house, I'll need a fair amount of villagers to make an iron golem farm. It's going to be a two two stage golem farm. And in between that will be a mob spawner like this and incorporated into the design of this mob spawner will be a zombie pigment farm. Of course, zombie pigment farm you use a whole bunch of obsidian. So I'm going to need a fair amount of obsidian for that. And so once I finish it, I hopefully <sighs> Just terrible with block placement today. Okay. So yes, I'm hoping that once I finish the design, I will be able to have basically all the drops I would need short of the spider eye and the slime ball. And the slime ball is easy because you can just, you know, you can hollow out a, cu a chunk's worth of dirt and make a nice little slime collection bay. And spiders, I've got my spider dungeon here, so that's fine. Okay. So, um, if you wanted a tutorial on how to make this mob spawner, I'm, you can always check out Ethos Lab. Fantastic guy, fantastic with his, um, with his creations. Really a pioneer, almost a pioneer of Minecraft. <laughs> okay, so now that we've done that, uh, I'm going to do a bit of work on the house proper now, if I can actually get up there. <laughs> I won't be able to sprint jump. No. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, so today I think I'm going to be putting up the walls of the ground floor. And that's very easy. It's just glass and sandstone. As you can see, I've put up another layer here because this is just level with the floor. And we want to go a little bit higher. So that's basically the design I'll have. One, two, three. One, two, three. Sandstone pillar in the middle. Three. Four. And that's basically all she wrote. So this is gonna be three blocks high and it's gonna run it's gonna form a, a nice ring down the sides here. And well not the sides, in these front two rooms here. And then I am going to Oh actually one 
That better not be annoying later on. I always, every single time, without fail, that one block breaks, it's always a block I need right at the end that I'd be able to finish if I hadn't broken that block. Bugger. Okay. So that's only for these front two rooms. These sides here won't... I may or may not incorporate windows into. But these back rooms here, they won't have windows because they're going to be the... These are going to include the stairs up to the next level. So that's why I won't be putting any stair, uh, any uh, windows in that room. So I'll be back as soon as I finish this up. Alrighty, and we are done. Almost. Just got to plonk one up here. Boop, boop. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> so I think that looks that looks pretty nice. Of course, there is going to be roofing over the top of that. But that's not going to come into play until later. So, time to get to work on the rest of the building. So, we want, I think I want to come in three here and just build that up to the top. Uh, more smooth sandstone. Yeah, that looks pretty alright. Hmm. What about that? I'm just trying to go off memory here, so forgive me if I'm a bit, uh, a bit quiet. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm trying to go for a bit of a pillar effect here. One, one two, three. One, two, three. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Okay, let's give that a go. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Although back here, I don't want more smooth sandstone. That'd just look a bit dumb. Because it'd be, oh, it's boring. It's the same freaking feature over and over again. So I think... Well, that's going! <laughs> I'll put sans just regular sandstone at the back. I'm not sure where I'm going to be using chiseled sandstone or anything like that. Hmm. And I do want to use some... I do want to utilize a fair amount of that new cobblestone fence. Or cobblestone wall or whatever they call it once. 1.4 comes out. I won't update with any snapshots until 1.4 comes out. But once that happens, I think I'll stick with some pretty fairly stable... Oh, oh that's just a chiseled with some fairly with fairly stable updates because as much as I ha would ha as much as I hate to say this I don't think I'll be going on Aurora what the hell's going on here oh I don't think I'll be going on the Aurora server anymore I think that series has run its course I uh, it's not that I don't like the place cuz I do the people there are awesome they're fantastic guys and if you if you feel like if you think you'd be able to get into there fantastic go for it but it's more a gameplay issue for me uh, than anything else. Like, like I said, I got nothing against it. Any, anybody who goes there. I might as well fill in this with cobble because no one's going to see this anyway. Nothing against the the people there, but uh, for me, it is a gameplay issue because the amount of lag that I get is very disconcerting at times. It's a major turn off uh, to for me wanting to play the game could fill this in as well. Oh, actually, no. Keep it this. Because we might be seeing it from the outside. Yep. I know what I'm doing. Hmm. So, yeah, like, nobody likes to play on a game with that amount of lag. Like, I've died several times from, from lag and lost extremely valuable stuff. Like, I lost a, a Looting 3 Sword. I lost Silk Touch Diamond Picks. I've lost all manner of important stuff. I lost three, three, three stacks of obsidian once, and that takes like 15 minutes just to mine. And oh, oh, you know, it's just 15 minutes. You can come. In. Yeah, I know that, but yeah, it's just not attractive to me to play a game and get into the game for that amount of time, put that amount of effort, and in the end, it's just going to be cumbersome to play on. So that's why I sad sad to say, and so I'm sad to say that I prob 
the episode three of Aurora was probably my last one. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I do apologize to any uh, Aurora Minecrafters that are watching this. I probably should have told you guys in person, and I do apologize that I didn't get a chance to. But, you know, there are a lot of you, and, you know, it's hard to get online. And you guys have all that stuff to do, so I thought this would probably be the best bet I had of actually getting the message across. How much more sandstone have I got? That's just enough. Mm. So with that, I do believe that Tuesdays are now an empty slot for me. Now, I don't think I'll be going back to the mine to putting these episodes out on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I like the method I've got here. I like the schedule. Two episodes of this a week. Three episodes of Poke Play because Poke Play is not as uh, time consuming. Now, when I say that, I mean that, you know, this is only a 20 minute video, but you have to realize that a lot of effort actually goes into everything that isn't seen. For example, uh, a good rule of thumb is for every 10 minutes of footage that I record, I've actually done about an hour's work on the game. So, a 28 minute episode, that's, I've done about two hours worth of work on the game, and then with the editing software, that bumps it up another hour for every half hour of footage, at least. Because first, it, my editing software, of course, Camtasia Studio, I have to create the video file after it's done, then I have to save the video file, then I have to go through the editing process of taking out everything I don't like, and making it nice and purified, as uh, a certain hermit would say. And then there is actually the upload time. So once you take that into account, it's close, very close to about two and a half hours per 10 minutes of Minecraft footage that I actually record. So, for example, that uh, Aurora Minecraft 50 minute special that I did to make up for what I hadn't put up in previous weeks. Oh, I didn't light up the roof of the spawner, did I? Oh, crap. Um, at least there aren't any mobs. Oh. Uh-oh. My computer has just alerted me that it is running low on battery power. So... I'm going to take care of that. I'll be back in just a moment and continue with my point about the Minecraft thingy. Okay, so that's taken care of. Yes, I yes, 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 I use a laptop for my computer needs because I am a bit of a mobile person. But anyways, back to my point about Minecraft. Um that Aurora 50 minute special that I did, which in hindsight is the last episode, but whatever. Um that's recorded over the space of a week or two weeks in this case, so you know, it peters out the amount of work I have to put in in one sitting, but in the end, that's about 10 hours, at least 10 hours worth of, I'm just counting off my fingers here, of actually recording the footage I want, uh, doing things in the background for the server, like building things and excavating and putting rooms up and everything like that. Then there is the editing, the saving, the recording, and the editing process, of course. And there's also time put in for searching for good music to use for montages and things like that. Oh, I'm going to starve to death. And then there's the upload time. It actually took me four and a half hours to upload that video because it was over a gig and a half. A gigabyte and a half. Or file size. So that's just a rough idea of like the sort of things that happen here. So... Obviously, that's why I'm happy that my Poke Play stuff is three times a week and not the other way around. Because, um, do I have redstone? I need redstone ore. Oh, I've got plenty. Okay. Got some coal ore. Do I have any lapis ore? Oh, yes, I just have a bit. Fantastic. Yeah, so that poker play stuff, the file size is a lot smaller. It only takes me about 10, 15 minutes to upload an episode of that. And that's why I like uploading that three times a week. The Minecraft, these 20 minute episodes, I only want to do two times a week because it's, like I said, it's more taxing to record Minecraft than it is to record uh, my poker play. 
but having said that, I'm open to suggestions for anything that you guys can think of for me to do on a Tuesday. Of course, it's only going to be once a week, and they'll, yes, they'll probably be 30-minute episodes. If I decide to do a new series, I may do a new series. I'm not entirely sure, but, you know, there's the whole, you know, oh, I could, inter- I could you know, break into a new uh, fandom or something like that, versus the whole, I don't want to stretch myself too thin. God, this is a bit of a talky today, isn't it? Ugh. Okay. So, what... Dead now, boy. So what I wanted to do here was put redstone ore in here. Just as a little feature. I think that looks nice. And I just fell into the stairs. (laughs) Same thing on the other side. Of course, this this house, I think it's going to be you know, light versus dark, but there's also going to be symmetry about it, because, you know, light and dark, it has a certain touch of symmetry as well, depending on, you know, how eastern you want to get. <laughs> In here, I'm not sure what this will be, I might have, when well, 1.4 comes out, <laughs> there's a creeper on top of the fucking thing. Oh, that's going to have to get edited out, that was a mouth slip. So I might end up putting flower pots here, with uh, some trees or something like that. Or gr- I could put grass here as well. Actually, I like the idea of the grass. Yeah, let's put grass here instead. That, that sounds much better. Mm. So yeah, like I said, uh, be sure to send in a suggestion if you think I sh- if you think I'd be suited to taking on I- uh, any new projects for Tuesday. If not, or if they don't sound appealing or something like that, I am probably going to do uh, Tuesdays will be Minecraft specials. Because I have a fair few tutorial videos that I have saved up for days when I can't be around to upload uh, another episode of this Let's Play. Speaking of uh, uh, special episodes, I hope you guys enjoyed the 50 subscriber special. Uh, No, that was not in... uh, I did not save the world before that. I could go over there right now, it would still be blown to heck. Now, what did I come down here for? I came down here for grass. I think I have some. Dirt. No, wait, I think I made one for grass. Hmm. So, uh, once again, thanks to everybody who was, who's been watching and subscribing and everything like that. Where is this bloody grass? I know, I probably did put it in the dirt pile. Oh, no, here it is. There we go. Mm-mm. Get up there, you stupid. Alright, let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, that looks really nice. Love it, I'm a genius. (laughs) Excellent. Oh, it's amazing what like a little touch like that can do to a place. It's just got a ni- it's nice color contrast and the natural look and everything. Man, fantastic. Mm mm mm. Awesome. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. Like you can always just tap it. <laughs> Lights up. Keep the kids entertained. So yeah, uh, I have a fair amount of uh, tutorial videos uh, lined up if, in case I can't do anything for the Let's Play. So if I don't get uh, too many good ideas from you guys, not that I'm saying you won't give me good ideas, but I'm just saying if I don't get any that seem particularly appealing to me, personally, then I'll probably end up using Tuesdays as a time slot for my tutorial videos. And hopefully, you know, that'll bring out the more technical side of me. Of course, this place is just aesthetics for the moment. And to be fair, this is a minor house. This is a small house. So, I mm, I, I just lost where I was going with that train of thought. Ha! <laughs> Dang it. Oh. Wrong pick. Wrong block.
that. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. A bit square, but I'm not too fussed about that. This place is starting to come together. Look at that. That looks way better than it did 20 minutes ago. <laughs> awesome. Hopefully the YouTube guys will let me use this as a thumbnail. <laughs> Dang. Oh, well, we're at 20 minutes, so I'll see you guys on Saturday when the next episode comes up. I think with this is episode 17, so we've got 18 coming up next. But, you know, this place is becoming an adult. It's fantastic. And I, th I think next episode we will work on finishing up this area as well. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get around to installing the fountain. But that's going to go fairly high because it will be the centerpiece. Not going to give too much away though. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. But for me, it's chow for now. Om nom 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 nom.